Hey everyone, in this tutorial uh, we will learn how to uh, install and run Suricata on Windows instead of the firewall and uh, Linux. So if I have my own PC and I want to install IDS or IPS, so what's the best practice or the optimal way to run uh, the rules that can detect malicious activities on the network? So here on the official uh, website of Suricata in the download you can see there is a download for the Windows uh, version and uh, also we need NPCAP uh, to install it as well uh, to capture the traffic and after install it we need to pay attention that the middle one during the installation of NPCAP uh, for the wireless adapters also you need to select it if you are connecting uh, through uh, Wi-Fi or wireless So after installing the Suricata, I can see the files in the C drive program files Suricata uh, There is a folder for the rules and there is the configuration file We need to configure the configuration file the path of the, the rules and the log uh, the interface and so on we can find here instruction uh, in PDF files uh, will instruct you how to configure or what exactly you need to uh, configure and uh, we will show uh, an example in this uh, tutorial so in the configuration file I need to set the IP address uh, and uh, the mask and I also need to set the path of the rules rule files here we need to set the names of the rules uh, the name should match or must match the same uh, in the rules folder so for example I have here emerging all dot rules uh, and here also I can find the same name if I want to add a new uh, rule I can type here the name and also I uh, will add it in the rules uh, file okay so the rules uh, you can download it from different sources for example here I have emerging threats dot net they already have uh, some rules for the snort and also for suricata i will take the latest latest uh, updates and you can see here different uh, files one for all rules in one uh, text file and some are categorizing uh, different rules in different files so for example if i have i have, I have uh, different uh, rules and i want to install it in the folder let's see how we can type all the rules uh, one time using excel for example i have this folder and i, I will download it and uh, we will see what uh, rules this folder have so i have here i can see i have different uh, rules uh, so what exactly I recommend you to do is to type dot rules here and now we are filtering all files uh, dot rules and with dot rules and I will select all and I will click shift right click copy as path now uh, using Excel here I will paste the path now I need only the last uh, path as a name so from data I will click fix to columns and here I will select the backslash to separate each one in separate column and I will remove this and I'll keep the last column and now uh, we can see here in the format it start with the space uh, dash or hyphen space and then the name so in the excel i will type here equal double quote space hyphen space and then double quote and the name so i can see here i have in the same format and i will double click at the edge to repeat the same for all the rules so now I can take all the rules and I copy it I can copy it here we can see instead of typing each one we are having now all the rules in the file and don't forget also 
to copy this uh, rules in the rules folder in the shortcut now one important note to take into consideration uh, when you open the rules file that uh, the hash means uh, that this rule is not effective so if you want to apply the rule you need to remove the hash type okay and if you can you can do uh, you can remove all the hash hash uh, by replace all you can replace the hash with a uh, give it a blank and here replace all so I can see that all the hashes are removed which means and I'm applying all the rules okay now to run the sorry kata uh, from the command first from the command prompt first I need to define the path of the sorry kata file and then I will type sorry kata then dash C the configuration file this is the configuration file we need to read this file then the interface I will type the IP address okay then L for the log file I created a new folder here uh, and I will uh, the log file this folder I will take this folder okay this is the way I need to store the log and also I can run this as service if I want instead of uh, typing the command every time I can select service dash install this is optional so this is a service install here I can you can see in the serv in the services I can uh, run suricata as a service and I can select here the startup type automatic so every time I put the PC the command uh, will run automatically and by that I'm starting the IDS uh, or the IPS uh, automatically okay so this is optional now after uh, running the suricata let's uh, read the log file and uh, simulate some attack or some malicious scan to see if uh, the suricata will detect it or not so now I can see the suricata is running as a service uh, let's try to leak this uh, log file using PowerShell and then simulate uh, in map port scanning and see if Suricata will detect it or not. So to read this log file, the log now uh, file is empty. Uh, I will type get content log this file name and then dash wait. Now uh, let's try to simulate the in map. And see I can see already here uh, in the log uh, in the DNS standard uh, query response there is a suspicious uh, traffic and uh, which means that now uh, the IDS here detected or sorry cat detected, detected a malicious activity happened for this interface